Hey folks, how's it going? Back in the shed with another Smart Moto how to video. Uh, this time it's the manual radiator fan switch. Uh, so, first off, massive thanks to Smart Moto for sending uh, this out along with a few other bits. Uh, they were really fast uh, delivery times. Um, I got this in less than 24 hours, uh, shipped from Greece uh, to the UK. Um, so, if you need parts fast, uh, the uh, express option is the is the one to pick um, and yeah let's crack on so manual manual radiator switch um, just two plugs remove the original plug from the switch in the back of the radiator plug one end in and then connect the other end back into the main loom um, you've got an on off switch just a little rocker switch um, in the off position it lets you well it lets the bike run as normal um, if it gets hot, it'll well the fan will kick in, and then you've got the option to have it on uh, if you're doing any work on the bike. Uh, if you need to let it idle for so long, uh, you can just help keep it cool. Uh, if you're sat in traffic and the bike's warming up, and again you want to keep it cool, um, or if you're riding in hot areas, out on the trails, uh, and working it hard, um, yeah, you might just want to put the fan on. Um, these bikes run hot. Uh, it's uncomfortable to sit on them when you're in traffic. Uh, big singles don't like sitting still. Um, so, yeah, nice and easy this one. Let's crack on. So, you want to start with removing the seat and the right hand uh, radiator shroud. Uh, just four screws you've got one, two, and then two in the front here. You've got one there and one down at the bottom. Uh, it's just a Torx uh, T30. So I've just got one in here for now. There you go. And it just pops off like so. <coughs> and this is the bit we're after here. This is the um, temperature switch. Um, when it heats up, it's just a little metal plate. It bends inside and that's what makes the contact to uh, switch the uh, fan on usually so there's a little catch underneath just press that and slide it off he says there you go and that's that and take the uh, fan switch uh, you've got two plugs the brown one goes back on the uh, on the bike on the radiator which is where you've removed the brown one from. It does help if you put the plug the right way up. And there we go. And the grey one connects to the bike just here. Squeeze this rubber thing back on just to get it out of the way. And then you're left with routing the cable. Um, so there's, there's a few places you can put it. Um, you can put it back up through the uh, through the frame to start with. There you go. Uh, you can leave it uh, under here. Cable tie it to uh, either the frame, some cabling, and just leave it by the airbox. Uh, or you can drill a hole. Uh, you'll need a. Uh, six, probably a six millimeter. Yeah, about a six mil bit. Uh, just to drill a hole uh, in here, here, you put it up on top of there. Um, there's also enough uh, length in it uh, to take it up through the headlight mask uh, if you had a have a um, headlight fairing um, or like a rally type fairing. Uh, and that's it. So this is the switch. Um, it comes with. Let's take that off again. It comes with this little black rubber cover. It just screws on. Along with the uh, on-off kind of switch sign thing, and this little uh, ring. So I think the ring goes on first. 
The on off switch has a bit in the middle so you can only put it on one way just so you don't confuse the uh, on and off and then this just screws back on like so and you can test it by switching the bike on come on there we go there we go it's already on and switch it back off Jobs are good. So there we have it. Nice and easy for once. Um, I'll pop the link uh, for this fan switch in the description below. Um, it fits many other bikes. I'll pop a few on the screen and I'll pop them in the uh, description below as well. Um, yeah, that's it. So if you like this video, um, please hit like, uh, subscribe, and thanks for watching. And until next time, cheers.